Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park. Brian Otto with you. It's Thursday of Pegasus Week. Huge week developing here at Gulfstream Park. Of course, Pegasus World Cup on Saturday with 13 races. The $3 million World Cup anchoring that card. But today on Thursday, we got really good nine-race card as well. Tremendous turf feature. Tremendous eighth race as well for the state breads. And certainly, last but not least, $700,000 in the gross jackpot Rainbow Six. Upstairs to track a peak LO for the course and the weather conditions. Partly cloudy conditions for horse racing today. Temperatures in the mid 80s. It's a beautiful day. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is always fast. And the turf course is firm. In the first race, scratch two, side eye. Scratch five, act a fool. And scratch the six, Kellen at the spa. R Racing at Goldstream. Off slowly was Call Bob and Go On Mo was off in traffic and rushes forward. With the early lead, it's Cooler King who's on top a length and a quarter early. Go On Mo is on the far outside trying to get into second. Make suggestions is down toward the inside and up into the top light is Good Looking Rags. Back from there, it's Cumberland. Two and a half clear of Ben's Hero and after a slow start, Call Bob a long way behind. Checking hard there was Make Suggestions. He lost significant ground behind a 21 and four opening quarter. Cooler Cooler King has the lead, but Go On Mo looms an ominous presence on the outside. These two now four ahead of Good Looking Rags, who's now third, makes suggestions, tries to right himself after some turn trouble. Outside in Cumberland with three sixteenths to go. Go On Mo trying to do just that with Cooler King trying to fight back. Eighth of a mile to go. Go On Mo. He has the stride, he has the stamina, and he's a three to five winner. Go On Mo and Jose Ortiz win by two in the end. Cooler King was second, Cumberland third, then Good Looking Rags, and makes suggestions. beginning for Pomona's bullet at the back. Good beginning for Valiant Miss from the rail, and she looks for a clear early lead from Delta Red, who's away in second. Out of there third is Amelia's Legacy with Breezy Connection on the outside. Back from there, it's Show Me Love, then it's Amore Moon, and Ramon Parrish and Pomona's bullet last of all as they have half a mile to race. Valiant Miss and Sunny Leone clear a length and a quarter. At the inside, Amelia's Legacy tries to secure the rail run, but it shuts the door on her, so she shuffled to third. Up to second is Delta Red. Breezy Connection is four wide for Barbosa, moving between horses and Show Me Love. Then it's a length and a half to Amore Moon, and five to the trailer, Pomona's Bullet. Around the far turn at the 5 16th, Valiant Miss still has the lead. Delta Red closest pursuer second, two back to Breezy Connection. She's gaining ground while three wide third. Show Me Love is at the inside and has an upset possibility for Jairo Hernandez, fourth with two and a half lengths to raise, quarter of a mile remaining. Up on the outside, it's Delta Red challenging Valiant Miss for the lead. Breezy Connection's leveled off a touch. Show Me Love is at the rail with an eighth of a mile to go. Delta Red tries to color Valiant Miss. Breezy Connection with another try on the outside. Valiant Miss very game. Delta Red surging to her. Delta Red's got her. Delta Red wins. Valiant Miss was second. Breezy Connection ran third. Then Show Me Love and Pomona's Bullet for the high five. 113 and four.
And they're off. Perfect start. Looking for an early leader, Sophia Storm ridden out of the gate with Moktan Hair on fire speeding through to challenge. She's a gift is away in early third. Provocativa's in the red colors while racing fourth with Ransom's reward out the rail. Then Disco Queen and the trailer is she's out of here. Down the back stretch they go with Mach 10, hair on fire. In front three parts of a length, Sophia Storm, the nearest pursuer second. These two have gone three ahead of She's a Gift, who's together with Provocativa. Down at the rail and Ransom's reward in the trailer as she's out of here. Sharp opening quarter, 22 and two with half a mile remaining. Mach 10, hair on fire, and Louis Saez now lead by two lengths. Sophia Storm is all in while second. She's a gift. Tries to pick up the top two while racing in third. From the back, she's out of here, is on the move, just ahead of her ransom's reward. Provocativa hasn't kicked on, and now the trailer is Disco Queen, and Mach 10, hair on fire, getting away. Mach 10, hair on fire, has bumped the margin to eight lengths with a quarter of a mile remaining. Second, Sophia Storm, she's a gift, making no impression. At the rail, ransom's reward. She's out of here, is next, as they Straighten for home. Speaking of she's out of here, Mach 10 hair on fire is well clear. Second Ransom's reward, she's a gift, and Sophia Stormer next. But with an eighth of a mile to go, Mach 10 hair on fire bids this field a pleasant Thursday good afternoon. Mach 10 hair on fire and jockey Louis Saez for Amity Racing Stable. Authoritative winners, they won by seven lengths. Ransom's reward second, she's a gift third, Sophia Storm fourth, then she's out of here, 126 left. They're off. Picture perfect beginning. Soon after the start, ridden for the lead was T-Cento, who heads off for the early advantage. Race favorite Bourbon Therapy, Centard, while down toward the inside. He's up into second. Kekete is three wide. In the two path goes Golden Talent. Gerard is widest of all. And the early trailer is Classy Boy. Half a mile from the finish. Loose up top. T-Cento strides clear to a two and a half length lead. Bourbon Therapy is at the inside from between horses and racing on with it is Golden Talent. Three wide Kekete, then back to Gerard and Classy Boy as they run to the top of the stretch. t -Cento Cento shows him a clean pair of heels as they run to the top of the stretch. He's on top by two and a half. From the outside, Kikete from between horses, Golden Talent, Berman Therapies at the rail. Classy boy underway from the back. Three sixteenths to go. T Cento still finding, still clear by three. Berman Therapy starts to make a bit of ground down the center in Classy Boy. Up front, T Cento and Leperu trying to get one sixteenth more. Here's Berman Therapy surging to him. Berman Therapy in time. Bourbon Therapy ran down T Cento with Classy Boy right alongside, then Golden Talent in 57 and 3. They're off. Centard between horses. Roger McQueen, one of the first to break the line. High yield kittens in no hurry. Down at the inside, Caminero is on the go. Caminero is second behind Roger McQueen. Fourth to Glorious Tribute. Then from between horses, it's Lord Jackson. The trailer is Hay Porter. In the run to the opening quarter, Roger McQueen has the lead by almost a length now. High yield kitten moving up on his outside. Down at the inside, it's Caminero, who's angled for racing room. Lord Jackson's between horses. At the rail, that's Hay Porter, and out the center is Glorious Tribute. They make their way to the opening quarter in 23 and 2. They have less than five furlongs to go as they swing to the far turn. Castellano sitting chilly on high yield kitten who makes a move to take the lead. Roger McQueen tries to counter that attack while second Caminero is there third. Up to fourth in glorious tribute then Hay Porter and Lord Jackson's now last. They leave the back stretch and move to the top of the stretch. High yield kitten by a neck. Castellano still sitting chilly. From the inside, Roger McQueen battling hard on the outside in Caminero. From the inside, it's Hay Porter, who's an oncoming fourth through a 47 and two half mile. Time to go to work for this leader, high yield kitten. Caminero takes a shot at him on the outside. Roger McQueen back for a little bit more. Final eighth of a mile. High yield kitten is in front. Roger McQueen, very game down the center. Caminero, then Hay Porter. 16th to go. High yield kitten has put him away. 
High yield kitten and Javier Castellano to win it. Here's Hay Porter rolling home and up for second. Roger McQueen was third, then Caminero in the fifth. From the far outside, it can was away alertly, and her sprint speed will land her a clear advantage as they run out of the chute. Irad Ortiz Jr. is encouraging Rosie Holiday to try to stay close to the leader, and in hand at the back is More Glory. In fact, More Glory is second here as it can is loose up top. Out of the chute onto the main track, it can at eight to five leads by better than four. More Glory is together with Rosie Holiday, and Rosie Holiday has now moved into second. The quarter time was just 25 seconds flat. So it can, could not have got a better uh, setup here. She's on a very lonely lead. She leads by about three, and they run past the 5'8". Rosie Holiday is the nearest pursuer second, and the late running Moore Glory is last of the three. She's only about four or five lengths behind, as it can is in front. Half a mile from the finish. The pace is going to pick up now, as here comes Irad after Jose. After a 49 and one-half mile, it can has the lead. Rosie Holiday is there second, five ahead of Moore Glory, who's now racing in third while trying to play catch-up. Around the far turn they go. It's it can in front. From the outside, Rosie Holiday gets serious. And now Rosie Holiday is powered forward. It can, not known for her one mile prowess, is now back in second. And she appears to be calling it a day. More glory, meanwhile, has been last throughout and while trying to gather in the second horse through a three quarters in 15 and one. Off the turn and the stretch drive, Rosie Holiday has the lead. Looks like More Glory's going to have no problem picking up It Can for second, but nobody's going to pick up Rosie Holiday. Have to call this what it is. One to two is easy money as Rosie Holiday runs up the score. Rosie Holiday, a geared down winner to start the late pick four. More Glory second, and it can third. beginning. White Frost, one of the first to break the line, splitting horses. Paris Peacock is on the go. Bramble Bay has speed, and up on the outside, that sweet serenade and the run to the first turn. Splitting horses, Miss Majorette is part of the pace of Vanguard here. In fact, Miss Majorette's going to land the early lead. Paris Peacock decides to sit second alongside White Frost, who's in racing in third. Three wide and sweet serenade, then Bramble Bay. They're ahead of Treasure of War in front of Miss Delicious, who's a bit keen. Arm Candy is next toward the rail. She's about seven lengths behind. Second last early, Talbea. The trailer is Miss Marie. Up front, the leader, Miss Majorette, by a length and a half over the comebacker, White Frost, who's in a good spot in second. Up on the outside, Sweet Serenade is there. Third, Paris Peacock watching the action of White Frost while racing in fourth. Then Bramble Bay, and on her outside goes Treasure of War. Length and a half to Miss Delicious ahead of Arm Candy and Talbea. Miss Marie is last. 
Opening half mile was 46 and 4 as they leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. White Frost turning up the pressure to take the lead. Three wide sweet serenade at the rail, Miss Majorette. No place to go for Paris Peacock. She's dropped back some positions. Up on the outside, here's a run coming for a Miss Delicious. Arm Candy's hunting racing room through three quarters in 10 and 4. Off the turn, a Miss Stretch Drive. White Frost has the lead with work to do down the center. Miss Delicious surging forward. Arm Candy trying to find some place to go. White Frost, two and a half lengths in front with us and an eighth to go. On the outside, Miss Delicious. Arm Candy up into third. White Frost, well prepared by Belmont off the layoff to win by two and a half. Second, Miss Delicious, third arm candy in 133 and four. We're ready for the start. They're off. Slow to start, Wilma Mankiller. Quick to break was Hoax, and the favorite is headed off for the early lead with My Lady James in pursuit second. From between horses, that's Reveille Song, and up on the outside goes Alternate Rock. Oh, Darlin is at the rail, then Clay Soldier, and Wilma Mankiller is last. They pass the half mile and move to the far turn. Hoax doing battle with My Lady James on the top end. Alternate Rock is now third. Oh, Darlin is at the rail in fourth, followed by Wilma Mankiller and Reveille Song, and Clay Soldier at the back while wide on the course. 21 and 3 for a very quick opening quarter as they round the far turn. Paco needs room for O Darlin. She's in the black cap behind the speed with the advantage now. It's still My Lady James toward the inside. It's Hoax. They've got O Darlin bottled up. Clay Soldier trying to come around him in between horses and our alternate rock. Eighth of a mile to go. Alternate rock and Clay Soldier. They kick on. Alternate rock loses the lead to Clay Soldier but comes right back. Alternate rock. Clay Soldier. These two. Alternate rock would not be denied. Alternate Rock and Jose Ortiz beat Clay Soldier in a good one. Oh, Darlin, an unlucky third, then Reveille Song, 57 flat. away. Great start for Provoke Me, who's headed off for the early lead. With speed today is monetize it up to challenge. Our Rosé all day is away in third. On the far outside, it's Take It South. Then Storm was between horses and connecting flight is toward the rail. Inconvenienced early was Apple Lover. She was up on heels. Nod do debts on her outside. Then it's Apple Saucy third last. Second last, Evie does it. The early trailer is Planet Frolic. And the run around the first turn, Provoke Me has the lead through a 24 and 4 opening quarter. Moving up on her outside, R. Rose all day is in a flanking position in second with Monetize it parked at the rail in third. Take it south is there, fourth, followed by Storm in fifth, then connecting flight. 
Out of the inside, that's Apple Lover racing about six lengths off the speed. Two better than Na Dudette. Then Evie does it, and Apple Saucy, still at the back, is Planet Frolic. They make their way half a mile from the finish. The half mile was 50 and two as they leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn. Our Rose all day goes on the offensive to put a neck in front, taken on by Take It South. Provoke Me tries to battle back toward the rail, these three across the course. From behind the speed, it's Monetize It and Storm out deep in connecting flight. Trying to work into the clear for a run, Apple Lover, then Nod Dudette as they run to the top of the stretch. Plenty of chances here through three quarters and 15 flat. From the outside, Take It South for a narrow lead. From the rail, it's Provoke Me in between horses, Our Rose all day. Working to the clear is Monetize It, Nod Dudette down the center. Final eighth of a mile with the ram advantage. Provoke me our rose all day. Right back at her. Provoke me our rose all day. Provoke me our rose all day. Photo finish. Can't call it. It's on the bob. Provoke me inside. Our rose all day on the outside. Win photo. 138 and 1. And that's a wrap on the nine race Thursday card here at Gulfstream Park. We're going to be back on Friday, 10 races. Friday, the traditional 12-10 first post as we kick off Pegasus World Cup 